Northville, Michigan. If you are considering calling Northville home and you want to get a little bit more information, well, you are in the right place because we're going to be covering everything that you need to know to decide whether Northville makes sense for you. Hi, I'm James Harris, your Metro Detroit real estate agent, and my channel is geared towards giving you real estate information to help you make an informed decision. So if that's what you're looking for, consider subscribing. So a little bit about Northville's history. Northville was first settled in 1825 and was incorporated as a village in 1867 and ultimately as a city in 1955. So the village of Northville was originally part of a super township that was composed of Northville, Plymouth Township, and Canton until Northville ultimately split to form its own township in 1898. On to Northville's location. Northville is located in both Wayne and Oakland County, but the majority of it is in Wayne County. So for consistency's sake, we're going to use downtown Northville as a starting point. If you're headed downtown Detroit, Little Caesars Arena, you're going to be looking at about 35 to 40 minutes. Heading to Ann Arbor to the big house, you'll be looking at around 30 to 35 minutes. To Detroit Metro Airport, you're looking just over 30 minutes. And to Royal Oak to the Detroit Zoo, you'll be looking at 30 to 35 minutes. So Northville is definitely one of those cities where you're pretty much 30 to 35 minutes from everything. All right, so let's move on to the schools in Northville. Schools are always gonna be an important factor in the overall desirability of a city. So we're gonna talk about some general information and then move on to some rankings. Now, Northville is covered by two school districts. That will be Northville Public Schools and Plymouth Canton. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna focus on Northville Public Schools as the majority of the city will fall into this school district, as well as the fact that I've covered Plymouth Canton on videos on the channel. So if you're interested, check those out. So in the Northville Public School System, there are six elementary schools, two middle schools, and one high school, as well as a special education center program that services students from about 12 local school districts in Western Wayne County. Now, according to niche.com, the public schools in Northville received an overall grade of an A+, and usnews.com published a ranking of the best high schools in Michigan, and Northville High School came in at number 10. Now, moving on to a factor that's going to be an important consideration with any city that you're thinking about calling home, and that's going to be safety. So again, for this one, we're going to refer to niche.com, and the public safety in Northville received an overall grade of a B. And as you can see, all of the categories of crime rates were well below the national average. And when asked the question, how effective is law enforcement in this area, 67% of the respondents said that the police are very visible and very responsive. Now, there were only nine respondents to this particular survey, so it's a relatively small sample size. However, I thought it should be included just to make sure we have all of the bases covered. Now on to things to do in Northville. So I always like to focus on things that are gonna be unique to this particular city. So in this case, we're gonna highlight two things that are unique to Northville. Mayberry State Park and Mill Race Village. So a little bit about Mayberry State Park. So the park itself covers just under a thousand acres and is known for its scenic landscapes. So the park itself offers a pretty wide variety of recreational options, some of which are hiking trails, uh, biking trails, uh, horseback riding, and fishing. Now on to Mill Race Village. It's a historical site that's dedicated to the life and architecture from the early 19th century. So you're gonna see a lot of preserved buildings and it's very similar to Greenfield Village. All right, so now on to the most important factor about living in Northville and that is the real estate. So just to get a sense of the market in Northville right now, we're gonna be taking a look at some year to date sales figures. So in the city of Northville, the average sale price for single family homes is just under $599,000. And that represents a 16% decrease year over year. And for condos, you'll be looking at just over $359,000, which represents a 16.4% decrease year over year. And as for Northville Township, for single family homes, the average sale price is just over $743,000, and that is a 1.6% decrease year over year. And for condos, the average sale price is just under $414,000, and that represents a 15.7% increase year over year. And just to make sure we have a complete picture of the real estate landscape of Northville, we're gonna take a look at some values of the surrounding cities. To the east, you have Livonia, and the average sale price is just under $270,000. To the south, you have Plymouth Township, and the average is about $439,000. To the north, you'll be heading to Novi, and the average is just over $543,000. And to the west, you'll be heading to Salem Township, which is in Washtenaw County, where they have an average sale price of just over $542,000. 
So that's what we have for you today. I hope that you got some valuable insight into living in Northfield, Michigan. If you did, a like will go a long way to helping the channel. So if Northfield sounds like it might be a good fit for you, feel free to grab my list of preferred homes in the description. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.